Hi everyone, my name is Danielle and I will be presenting on Essie Hinton and the Outsiders. A little bit about Essie Hinton. Her full name is Susan Eloise Hinton. She was born in Tulsa, Oklahoma on July 22, 1948. It was her enjoyment of reading that influenced her to publish her first novel, The Outsiders, in 1967. She loved reading and was dissatisfied with the literature that was being written for young adults. And after the novel came out, she actually became the voice of the youth. This novel became very popular because it was so realistic as to what was going on in the time the novel was written in rural Oklahoma, the setting of The Outsiders. It was also written when she was a teenager, so it was very relatable to the young people, to the teenagers at that time. Her second novel, that was then, this is now, was published in 1971. It was actually her boyfriend at the time and current husband who encouraged her to write two pages a day in order to improve her writing. And that's exactly what she did. After three years of writer's block, she was able to complete the novel in the summer of 1970. She received her bachelor's degree at the University of Tulsa where she met said husband, David Inhoff. Many of her books were adapted into films. The Outsiders was released in March of 1983 and Rumblefish in October of 1983. Both of these films were directed by Francis Ford Coppola. Her two other novels, Tex and That Was Then, This Is Now, were also made into films and were a big hit. Her contribution to the American literature for young adults was acclaimed in 1988 when she was given the Margaret Edwards Young Adult Author Achievement Award for her work by the American Library Association. The Outsiders tells the story of the ongoing conflict between the Greasers and the Soches in rural Oklahoma. The protagonist, Pony Boy, is the youngest of three orphan brothers who hang out with the local hoods known as the Greasers. The upper class rich kids are known as the Soches, short for socials. One night, Pony Boy and his friend Johnny get into a deadly confrontation with a group of Soches. The two hitch a ride out of town to avoid the cops and end up staying at an abandoned church in the country. While away, they realize that the fighting between greasers and socias is silly because no group is better than the other. The novel ends with a giant fist brawl between the greasers and the socias. The cast of the movie is as follows. Dallas Winston is played by Matt Dillon. Johnny Cade is played by Ralph Macchio. Ponyboy Curtis is played by C. Thomas Howell. Daryl Curtis, Ponyboy's oldest brother, is played by Patrick Swayze. Soda Pop Curtis, Ponyboy's second oldest brother, is played by Rob Lowe. Two Bit Matthews is played by Emilio Estevez. Steve Randall is played by Tom Cruise. And the two actors not portrayed in this photo are Cherry Valance, played by Diane Lane, and Bob Sheldon, played by Leif Garrett. You probably recognize at least a couple of these actors' names. They were very popular in the 1980s. They were also very young, and they were portrayed in multiple movies in the 80s. The big actors known today still are Patrick Swayze, Rob Lowe, Emilio Estevez, Tom Cruise, and probably Ralph Macchio we know as the Karate Kid. Essie Hinton commenting on the film. She was very pleased with the cast. She says she couldn't have asked for better actors for the parts and couldn't have had nicer people to work with. She said The Outsiders was a lot of fun to shoot because of the cast who were ordinary, goofy, sweet teenagers off camera and serious artists in front of it. These boys were very young and she became sort of a den mother for them, she said. She also says that I think some readers are unhappy with the way The Outsiders was edited and there are parts we shot I wish were in the final version, but it is a very faithful adaptation. I would have to agree with this. I really enjoyed the novel and I've seen the movie a couple times and I do think it is very true 
to the book, which is really important. A little fun fact is that she actually plays the nurse in Dallas's room in the hospital scene towards the end of the movie, which I thought was kind of cool. And these are my works cited. Thank you for watching this.